Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. From time to time, we've all found ourselves wishing we could be someplace else. Well, in Greensboro, the Elsewhere Living Museum and Arts Collaborative might just be that somewhere else. Producer Derek Long has more. The Elsewhere Living Museum is housed in what was a former thrift store in downtown Greensboro. My grandmother ran a store here from 1939 until 1997, amassed a series of inventories over that 58-year period from army surplus to fabric and clothing and toys, textiles, ribbon ends, all sorts of various objects uh, that she amassed over this period of time in three floors, filling the entire building with stuff and piles and ribbons and knots all over the place. This collection of things culled from the excesses of a consumer society would become the palette for creating art. We came in 2003 and began organizing the stuff, declaring originally that nothing would be for sale, nothing would leave, and we were really inspired by those objects and we were really curious about how like an infinite set or an infinite puzzle could we just continually arrange and rearrange all the things that were here. Uh, and as that arrangement took place, it would actually create in the environment a description, an image, a picture of uh, the different communities that had come over time. We don't do exhibits per se. Uh, unlike most museums, uh, we aren't about bringing in artwork from outside, exhibiting it for a period of time, and then having educational programs around that and sending it off. So in practice, it's a continual work in progress where everyone is invited to participate through a variety of collaborative programs and events. People are welcome to come in, explore, touch, play, meet artists, get to interact with the, the folks that are here, and really sort of come into a, a very creative family and engage. In 2005, an artist residency program was created to bring in artists from around the country and the world. They spend three to six weeks working with the materials here, uh, creating works that become part of the museum and are available to continually transform as well. And they're, it's sort of a new style of working. Because he is constantly changing. So that's for me the interesting about the project. It's constantly changing. Now it's always, that's what they call living museum because my work at some point would be transformed in something else. I don't know what is going to happen. So every time I came here is different. And people are coming back to see the change of objects and ideas over time to actually see the artist working and in process and to explore process with the artist. That's the idea of a living museum. It's a place where where both object, artwork, and people are constantly changing, uh, living, growing, expanding, and, and audiences come back to, to see that experiment take place. Visiting artist Lorenzo Ruiz's work included construction of tissue paper balloons, one large enough for people to get inside. In addition to play shops on puppetry, Ruiz was also invited to perform for the opening of the new storefront theater. Poetry is, is the media in which I can talk about my work or express my ideas. So I said, wow, what a great opportunity to bring performance, art, to elsewhere, and from go to the inside to the outside. Because the stage is inside of the place, but the audience actually is outside. So in puppets, really give me the chance or the ability to connect with people. And that's part of the mission here, to connect people, community, and art through a collaboration of cultural, civic, and aesthetic possibilities. It's a community, it's a family of artists with this interest of creation. And it's amazing that you have interesting way to connect with each other, to create a network, but at the same time to see what is, what is going on with art. Oh, and in a different way, and to really just see the artists doing the work right in front of you. We see how we work, because I guess we learn or we observe the process of creation, which sometimes we don't have access to it. And here you can share. It's an exciting environment to come visit, and uh, elsewhere is really one of a kind in the world. You know, we have so much here inside this one building and so much activity happening. Uh, it's always been part of our vision to find ways that it could, that it could amplify out into the, into the community. That's an important aspect of what we do here. This is Derek Long for North Carolina Weekend. The Elsewhere Living Museum is located at 606 
South Elm Street in Greensboro. And they're open Wednesdays through Saturday, 1 p.m. till 10. For information about events, programs, and other happenings, go online to elsewhereelsewhere.org or call 336-549-5555. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.